I love all the building and engineering that I see my young architects doing. So today's story is If I Built a House. It was written by Chris Van Dusen. It's a hardcover story, so it has a spine with the title on the side. And Van Dusen starts with the letter V. So my librarian was kind enough to go all the way down, and she found it at the end. He has a message at the back. Our little dog says, think big. So I'm wondering if the house becomes big. Jack in the backyard said to his mother, this house is okay, but it's like any other. It's boxy and boring and basically bland. It's nothing at all like the house I have planned. My house will be different. It can't be the norm. I think about traffic flow, function, and form. Oh, it may include shapes like a tower or dome, but I'll focus on what makes building a home. It's the rooms on the inside that make it unique. So step through the door and let's take a peek. We'll start with the basics right off the bat. Check out my all-in-one kitchen o mat. You don't have to cook and you don't have to clean. It's done by a space age robotic machine. It makes all the meals and the food is delish. And then it washes and puts away every last dish. Now the living room's next. It's fun. Come on in. The chairs and the table and sofa all spin and trampolines lead to a giant ball bit. It's a pretty neat room. You have to admit. Now look in the bathroom. No shower, no tub. Instead take a ride on my scrub-a-dub-dub. Just step on the belt and it washes you clean. Even the places that you've never seen. He looks so surprised too. And here is my bedroom way up in the sky, on top of a tower 200 foot high, with glass all around. Just check out the view. A bed in a tower now. That's something new. The rooms we walk through just moments before are the kinds that you'll find in any decor. But if I built a house, I'd add a few more. So hop on the slide. It's time to explore. You know how I certainly like to create? Well, this is my art room. Isn't it great? You draw on the wall. Don't worry, it's cool. Hung way up high on a giant spool is a huge roll of paper that hangs to the floor. Just draw, draw till you're done and then pull down some more. Next comes my flying room. See how it's tall? It's empty except for a switch on the wall. Just turn off the switch and you'll float off the ground. And then flap like a bird and fly all around. Isn't it nice to be up in the air? A room without gravity. That's pretty rare. Now this room, this is my racetrack room. Step right inside. It's less like a room and more like a ride. It features a racetrack that loops all around with a super fast go-kart that doesn't make a sound. You fly and you flip and you zoom and you zip. You have to admit, it's a wonderful room. A room filled with water, oh, that's something new. But if I built a house, that's just what I'd do. This is my fish tank room. Ain't it a sight? Don't worry, they're friendly. The critters won't bite. Just step on the air. Just strap on an air mask to swim with the fishes. Now, this is a room that every kid wishes. Of course, I've been saving the best room for last, and literally speaking, this room is a blast. So welcome, sit down. I'll seal up the hatches. This plexiglass playroom completely detaches. You fly it around. Why, it even has jets. For me, this room is as good as it gets. My house will be nifty. My house will be neat. My house will stand out as the best on the street. Daringly bold, yet exquisitely fine. A must-see example of modern design. My house will be nailed, will be hailed as refreshingly new. If I built a house, that's just what I'd do. And that's the end. Notice mom's looking at the blueprint or a plan as he is making things with his tinker toys, his Legos, uh, boxes, and tape. I give you a challenge if you're checking this out in Flipgrid. You can use any materials that you have at your house, like Legos or blocks or cardboard or paper, and you can use your imagination to tell me about all the cool rooms your house might have when you get to be a little bit older and you can be the architect of your own home. All right, stay well. See you next time.